What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, welcome back to the channel, and since the release of Warzone Battle Royale, the game has really struggled with so many glitches, like the helicopter under the map glitch, um, the various wall hacks, and just out of any Call of Duty video game ever created, I think Warzone definitely takes a cake for the worst in-game security, especially due to all the hackers who are still plaguing the game to this very day. Now, first thing I want to mention, hacking and cheating in any video game is always going to be a given. Like, no matter how much security and walls are put up to prevent such programs from being ran and whatever technical background goes behind hacking, hackers are just never going to be completely eliminated from a video game. However, the amount of blatant hackers and the easy accessibility it is to download and install these cheats are really where the line needs to be drawn. However, Infinity Ward has came out with statements saying that they have banned about 70,000 hackers um, by now that number has definitely increased if not doubled by now and they are continuing to work on the in-game security measures along with deploying dedicated updates to improve the in-game reporting also infinity ward has announced on tuesday may 12th that all new pc players that want to play call of duty warzone will have to verify their accounts via two-factor authentication but where the issue happens is there are websites that literally sell hacks to install on the pc see for super super cheap and apparently it's easy to do and also there are people who are selling hacked accounts that have loaded onto them hacks like aimbot wall hacks etc for just two dollars so um you know the two-step factor authentication was a really really nice uh, solution for the time being but you know one of those hackers are able to just bypass that authentication by getting a new phone number from maybe like a family member or a friend and it, also there's websites that generate those random new phone numbers for super super cheap so the sms verification was a really nice solution but it was really only a temporary patch to fix things it definitely was not a solution to the problem whatsoever and i don't know about you guys but i've definitely experienced a ton of hackers recently i've been getting sniped out of helicopters and it just totally beamed from a distance with every bullet landing on me that it shouldn't be happening i've done some research too from a bunch of players on reddit and twitter and they're still complaining to infinity war to this very day that the amount of hackers and how blatantly obvious it is it's just causing them to not really enjoy their experience and um, I know for me personally I don't really have a lot of motivation to play Warzone anymore let alone playing solo because I come across a hacker like once every couple games now it's just very very frustrating to deal with I love Warzone but um, it's just super easy to see um, a, a hacker every couple games. Now, players have argued that region locking China could be a solution because apparently that's the main source and location where a good majority of the hackers are from. Kind of like what Fortnite has done where they region lock China. But I don't know if Infinity Ward will, will ever do something like that or Activision because China is one of the main sources of revenue for the company. So I'm not sure if that's just wishful thinking to see that happen. But the point is, it's just super easy to install a hack or even buy a hacked account for just a few dollars and that's where infinity ward really needs to step it up with their security system and players have said too that they want a hardware ban for those players who are found cheating but i've also heard that it literally takes a few minutes to just bypass a hardware ban on the pc because there is some way to trick the in-game security system to think that the account is banned but it's really not so point is the hackers and cheaters will always find a way to get around things and i don't think Infinity Ward has the proper measures to prevent this kind of stuff from happening. Now, my solution to this is Activision and Infinity Ward should take legal issues at hand, but even then though, with the way things are right now with COVID, by the time a legal case is brought up to the cheat creators and the deposition phase is started, it could be years from now, but it's not uncommon to see video game companies sue cheat creators, um, but again, we really don't know how long a time that would be because it could be years from now to fully process. So, hopefully Hopefully Infinity Ward does come out with a statement to update players about hackers and other further security measures that they have incorporated. It just definitely this battle is not won and we've only seen a temporary patch for hackers for a short duration. We need to see something happen to prevent this from happening for the long term. I just really hope that Infinity Ward doesn't really sweep this under the rug and say like, oh, 
we're done like we're, we're done here we fixed it because no the issue of hackers and how easy it is to hack in warzone that is not fixed whatsoever i don't know about you guys who have reported a player in game for suspected cheating but i have never gotten this message from any of my reports i've talked to a few of my friends who've also ran into hackers and they've all said every single one of them they've never gotten the same message about um, a hacker being banned so hopefully they are working on all of that though now you can also block players in game who you think are cheating and if you get into a game with them in in the lobby then you get a notification on your screen saying that you're playing with a blocked player and by then you can just leave the lobby and find a new one but i don't know just this war on hackers in warzone is far from over i feel and i really hope in the next few updates infinity ward addresses these issues instead of simply sweeping them all under the rug so let me know your thoughts about this down below in the comments guys thanks for watching love y'all so so much till next time i'll see you guys later